I'll use cotton yarn in three colors, some stuffing and a hook. Magic loop with a beige yarn. Eight single crochet in the magic loop. Pull short end of the yarn and close the circle. Join this round with a slip stitch. Chain of one. Two single crochet in every stitch that we have around. At the end we'll have 16 stitches. We'll start with the stitch that we have here. This is the stitch that we did our joining with. Join round with a slip stitch. In a third round, we'll add yellow yarn. I'm gonna make a loop with yellow yarn. And pull it through the one that we already have, through the beige one. I'm gonna pull the long end of our beige yarn and close the loop. Chain of one with yellow yarn. One single crochet in this stitch. This is the stitch that we did our joining with. Then I'll make five double crochet in a second stitch from the hook. One single crochet in a second stitch from the hook. Five double crochet in a second stitch from the hook. I will continue with the same pattern two more times. At the end of row three I have four segments around and now I have to make a joining. I'm gonna do it with a slip stitch in the first stitch that I have here. For the next row I'm gonna change the yarn. So I'm going to take the beige yarn that I have here. And I'm going to make a chain of one with the beige yarn. 
and I'm gonna tie it. It's a yellow yarn. And I'm gonna make chain of one. Now I have 24 stitches around and in my row number four, I'll make one single crochet in every stitch that I have around. So at the end, I'll have 24 stitches. And I'm gonna start with this stitch that I did our joining with. So I'm gonna start with this stitch right here. I'm going to join my round with a slip stitch. For the next row, I'm going to switch to the yellow yarn. So I'm going to take the yarn that I already have here. I'm going to make a loop. I'm going to tie the beige yarn. And I'm gonna make chain of one, chain of two, and next I'm gonna make four double crochet in this seat that I did our joining with in this stitch. Then I'm gonna make one single crochet in a third stitch from the hook in this stitch. Five double crochet in a third stitch from the hook. One single crochet in a third stitch from the hook. Five double crochet in a third stitch from the hook. One single crochet in a third stitch from the hook. And last time in this row, five double crochet in a third stitch from the hook. One single crochet in a third stitch. And now we're gonna make our joining. So I have here a chain of three and I'm gonna make joining right in this loop. I'm gonna join it with a slip stitch. And I'm gonna switch my yarn to the beige color. And I'm gonna tie the yellow chain of one with beige yarn. And now I'm gonna make 24 single crochet all around in the next row. And I'm gonna start with a stitch in which I did joining. Close.
close the row with a slip stitch. And a change to a yellow yarn. Chain of one. And I have to repeat these two rows two more times. So in one row I'm going to be making a five single crochet in a third stitch from the hook. Then uh, one single crochet from the third stitch from the hook. In the next row, I'll be making 24 single crochet all around. So I'll have at the end 24 stitches. And making those uh, five double crochet, I'm gonna start from the very first stitch that I have. And I'm gonna start it with chain of two. And making four more double crochet in this stitch right here. So basically it's gonna be the same as I did in a previous round. I'll meet you when I repeat these two rows two more times. I finished knitting my two rounds with yellow and the beige colors. Now overall I have a four rows in yellow color and four rows in beige colors. Next row I will crochet with yellow yarn. I already switched to the yellow yarn from the beige one. I did it in the same way as I showed you before. I'm gonna start with chain of three. And I'll make two double crochet in this stitch right here. This is the very first stitch. And this is the one that we did our joining in. It's going to be our last round with yellow yarn. Next I'm going to make one single crochet in a third stitch from the hook. After that I'm going to make three double crochet in a third stitch from the hook. One single crochet in a third stitch from the hook. And I'm going to continue making three double crochet in this stitch. This is going to be our third stitch from the hook. As you can see, I'm closing my rounds and I have to make two more segments right here. And between those segments, I'm going to make one single crochet. So basically I'm doing the same as I did in previous rounds, but instead of making five double crochet, I'm making only three. And I'll join this round with a slip stitch. Now I'm gonna change my yarn to the beige one. I'm gonna tie the yellow one here. And I can cut yellow yarn. Now I'm gonna hide my yellow end of the yarn inside. At this point I'm gonna put inside my pineapple some stuffing. In the next row I'm gonna make 16 single crochet. So I'm gonna make one single crochet in one stitch that I have around. I'm gonna start with chain of one and I'll make my first single crochet in a stitch in which I made my joining. I'll continue around. I'll join round with a slip stitch. I'm 
Next row going to be the last one and I'm going to be making decreases. Chain of one. And I'll be making decreases. So I'll be knitting two loops at once. And I have to make eight decreases. I'm taking the first half of the stitch and another half of the stitch and I'll be knitting them together and finishing single crochet. One more time. One half of the stitch. Another one. And I'll continue the same way all around. And I'll join my round with a slip stitch. This part of pineapple is done. I'll put it aside. And meanwhile, I'm gonna knit leaves. Slip knot. Chain of 12. Slip stitch in a second stitch from the hook. Two single crochet in the next two stitches. Two half double crochet in the next two stitches. Two double crochet in the next two stitches. Two half double crochet. And two single crochet. Chain of 12. And I'll repeat the same pattern as I did on this leaf. I'll continue with the same pattern for the leaves until I have nine leaves. I finished crochet my nine leaves. Now I can cut my yarn and I need to leave a long end of the yarn. I'll pull long end of the yarn. I'll need my needle. Now I'm just gonna sew it together. And our leaves are done. Now we're just gonna attach them together. I'll cut this yarn and pull the yarn. I'll put the yarn on the front side. I'm gonna need my needle again. I 
I'm gonna take inside other end of the green yarn. And now using this yarn, beige yarn, I will attach it together. That's how we attach it. And now we're just gonna hide this ends inside. With the other end, we're just gonna tie it a little, just to make a form for pineapple. Also, I'm going to make a knot here. I'm going to cut the end that I don't need. And the rest of the yarn I'm going to hide inside. This end of the yarn I'm gonna hide inside as well. And our pineapple is done. That's how we joined our leaves and base of pineapple. You can use it as a keychain, pin, or just a toy for your kids.